YouTube, what is up? It's Sly Huncho, and I am back with yet another transformation. All right, so today my guy is doing a big chop. Get He's gonna get the washing style. So we about to give him waves from this curly fro. You know what I'm saying. So me, I'm starting out. I'm just using my shears for the dramatic effect. You know what I'm saying. I'm just cutting off all the curls, trying to get it nice and down. So when I use my clippers, plus it's just really for the visuals me just clipping scissors just slicing through easy but yeah this is this is a crazy big chop he been growing his hair for like three years he said he finally tired of it he wanted to get waved so that's what we're gonna do now i'm going against the grain with a three you know what i'm saying trying to cut it all down you can see how thick his hair is but yeah it's a struggle but we're gonna get it off and when you're cutting down, you don't want to cut it down too low. That's why I'm going with a three against the grain to leave it thick still. Yeah. You could just grab all the hair like with one handful. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of hair. Look at this face. I had to look, check the camera, make sure we still recording. Sheesh, I don't know if I would have cut that. If I had hair, you know what I'm saying? I keep growing it. I have it down my back, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm never cutting it if I grow my hair that long. But hey, you wanted to change, so I'm all for it. See the hair about to just drop off. It's coming off easy. Then I'm combing it through. You can see how thick his hair is. I'm saying we're gonna wash it because it's dirty, but his hair is pretty thick. So then I'm gonna cut down his hair with a three guard open, just trying to even everything out. He did have a taper before, so I want to make sure the taper doesn't show whenever I wash it. So the shampoo of the day is argan oil. I'm saying we're gonna see what magic this works. So first, you want to wet the hair. Then we're going to add the shampoo. We're going to do a total of three washes. So the first wash, I'm really just trying to scrub the dirt. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get all the excess dirt. Trying to bring the curls out. You know what I'm saying? Just making sure I'm scrubbing the whole area. Make sure we clean. Clean canvas is the best canvas. So as you can see, I'm using my fingertips to wash his hair because it's gonna make his hair curl up. So it's gonna make it easier for it to wave up when I'm doing the other washes. See, I'm rinsing it off. About to get ready for the second wash. And then I'm gonna have him put a towel over his face just so the soap doesn't get in his eye. And I wanna brush with the direction his hair grows. That's the easiest way to get the waves. And then I brush at an angle. I'm saying his hair does grow at an angle. So it's gonna be easier for me to put the waves in there if I'm brushing it. The way his hair grows. So as you can see me, I'm diagonally brushing his hair. Because that's the way his hair grows. On the side, it's growing diagonally back. So I'm brushing it that way. You can see the waves coming in a little bit. All that lather, you know what I'm saying? And then I lay it down with my palms on the third wash. I'm saying I have them put on the durag. And then I rinse the soap out of his durag. But whenever you're washing it, you want to make sure the hair is fully laid down. You know what I'm saying? And then we put them under the dryer for 15 to 30 minutes. And we're about to see what it do. You know what I'm saying? He got a little wave. So I'm saying he wavy. So my boy requested a hot taper. So first, we're going to put it in the first guideline with my liners. You know what I'm saying we balled in that out. And then we're going to use the shaver. And then we're going to debulk with the two. Then I want to go no guard, about a half an inch. Then I'm going to go halfway, you know what I'm saying? Trying to blend in that line. Then we're going to go close and flick out that line. Next step, using the one guard, another half an inch. Then we're going to close that, blend that line down a little bit. Now we're going with the zero guard, flicking that line out. 
then we're gonna try to clean it up again with a two knock some of that bulk off again and then we're going with a one and a half to blend it in some more and then i cut by the neckline with a one and a half too just so the line to pop whenever i line it up then i do my detail work with my masters flicking out any dark spots then we're going to start with the back i'm balding out that line setting in my first guideline making sure everything is balded out the guideline goes to the bottom of his ear and then we debulk him with the two and then just like my side taper i'm setting in the second guideline with no guard i'm going up about an inch because the neck is a bigger area and then i go halfway blending out that line then i close it looking out that bottom line i'm saying blend gonna be real nice then we go with a one guard close that flick out that line then we're going with a zero blending that line in So now I'm hitting the bulk area with the one and a half, trying to blend it in. And coming down with the one and a half as well is going to help blend in the hair and lay it down. And then I detail with my masters again, using my corners too. I'm saying trying to get away all them dark spots. And then I'm going to just let y'all watch me blend on this side because the steps are the same. I would say this cut is a fairly easy cut. It's just time consuming just because the wash. This cut lasts about, I say it takes me about like an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to put them under the dryer as well as wash it. So that's about 30 minutes right there. Then i take an hour to cut his hair. So I'm going back over his hair with the two guard because I felt like his hair could be laid down some more and the waves could pop some more. So I'm going with the two clothes now. Still leaving it thick because his hair texture. He's like a medium waver. So you don't want to cut it down too low. But the waves is definitely in there. And then I brush it. Now I'm going to cut over again just to make sure it's nice and neat and laid down. Getting all the loose hairs, cleaning it up. And then I line it up. I'm saying we tapping. Make sure we getting all the hair around the neck area. You want to always make sure you're hitting that curve by the ear. Then I cut down his hairline with like a one and a half. So a one and a half ain't going to cut it down too low. But we still want his hairline kind of thick just so I give it that full look. And I'm only using Gossipy Glue for the holding spray for this time because his hair is a thick texture and Gossipy Glue is a strong hold. And then I always start in the middle when I'm lining them up. And then I go to the other side. I'm going to the left right now. Make sure we tap in. And then on this side, this side is kind of shaped weird. So we're going to have to make his hairline. I'm saying without pushing them back, but we're gonna try to match it with the other side at the same time. So you just gotta kinda keep playing with his hairline. You see how it's straightening it out, but I'm not digging into it. You wanna make sure you're always taking your time with these type of hairlines, but everybody's hairline isn't naturally straight. So you wanna just try to make it as straight as possible with using your imagination. And then for my enhancements, I'm using Tomb 45 Black because his hair is a darker color. And his lining is just coming together real nice. My boy wavy at the top. Yeah, see that? And then we spray the neckline as well with enhancement. It isn't necessary, but it does make a difference in the haircut. It pops more. And I'm using a dark brown pencil to make it pop even more as a contour line. And then we just tap it just to blend it in some more. And then I use topics as well for the second layer of enhancements just to add that texture. And then I go over the hairline with a pencil. And then we tap the line with the liners just to blend it in. And then I'm razoring it to blend it in some more. And y'all see it, my boy sliced. When you razoring, you wanna always make sure you're pulling that skin and having the razor at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm putting my pomade on just to add some flair to the waves. I'm saying give it that shine. 
I'm using Cantu's pomade in this one. And then after you put the pomade in, you wanna lay down the hair. You could use a plastic bag. It's gonna lay it down just like this. You know I'm saying it's gonna make the waves pop even more. And then I get the extra hairs with my shears. The shears gonna wrap up this cut. Now let's look at the final results. Check my boy out, he's wavy. He went from a curly fro to waves. Waves on each side. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm gonna be back with more videos. Get sliced.